Hello there guys, welcome in another episode of Alan Wake. In the previous episode we were seeking passage through the caves. Uh, we're going up some mountain and trying to meet up with the kidnapper again. Uh, and yeah, that's where we ended up in from what I remember. Let's just continue. Oh yeah, and the music. Um, I do remember it now. Hopefully, I am going in the right direction. Uh, that is a bit weird that there was like a checkpoint right, right here. And then there was another checkpoint, like five steps ahead. <laughs> Feels like oh, Dark Souls 3 with all the amount of bonfires. Oh boy. That wasn't that hard. I tell myself I won't uh... Oh my god I tell myself that I won't swear that much And then I still do that whenever I get hit ah, Fuck <laughs> Exactly That's what I mean It's... I can't control that I'm a... Uh... I can't be fixed. Maybe I shouldn't uh, turn my back on him. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that I can't really outrun... That I can't outrun them. <laughs> Ever. Well, that's a nice start to a video. Just a bunch of deaths. I don't know what's going on here, like, what the fuck, <laughs> I did try to dodge, I don't know if it even works, if I can't, then that's a broken dodge button. Finally, at least this guy. Hmm. This just must be the, how all the Let's Players feel when they keep dying and they just know like the frustration of all the viewers. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, 
Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Hmm. I wonder who's the boss. I am not gonna switch to the revolver. I'm gonna keep using this till um till it runs out. Sh sure, let's push it. That way. Guess that way. Tom. I miss you, Tom. Who's Tom? You talk to me on TV. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Oh. Oh yeah, Tom, I was gonna say, it's probably Thomas Zane, because that's the only Tom I think about. Uh, I mean, that's the only Tom that is mentioned in the game. Shotgun ammo, but not... I don't think that's the same ammo. That goes to the hunting rifle. Yeah, different ammo. Oh well, we're in a trap. Uh, we can use the flare. Another one because I need to be close to them for it to deal damage. Uh, fine, let's just waste them all. Wow, that's a bunch of them. forgot about that. Still alive! <laughs> We've been there. Um, that doesn't. Nope. Let's go up and then try to jump. Maybe that's the proper way. How do I jump again? All right. Hey. I keep switching between games. So I forgot, forget the controls. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Let's pick this up. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. 
I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Mm. So... Oh my god. Why are they giving out this plot? Why are... Why the fuck are they spoiling the game? It, like, hey, at I'm first I was fine with that, you know, I was like, oh yeah, it's just some mumbled mess, it doesn't mean much, but it's nothing, right? But now, like, I know what happens, I'm not gonna be as surprised anymore. Here, I'm coming! Like they did just, uh, they did just kind of say that Alan was a patient in the mental asylum, and that um, maybe Alice isn't even real. <laughs> maybe that's the truth. I don't know. I just know that he's a patient, and that that is a big spoiler, though. At least I was right about this thing. Um, he wasn't the real kidnapper. As I said from the start, then I started to buy it for a second. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go.
I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Now we're gonna... Yeah, I guess we are in the asylum now. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained. Yeah, yeah, just a second. Mm, nope. No manuscript page. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't believe. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. It's just been all in his head, because I did play control, and of course the supernatural does like it does exist in this world. Uh. So my theory is that Alan actually perhaps Alan Wake is in the asylum and he does have like some problems with his mind. Maybe Alice doesn't even exist. That could be true, um, but I don't think that the Dark Present is something that he created in his mind. I think he actually does, uh, I think that that creature does actually exist. And most of the, the stuff that we've seen in this game so far did happen.
<sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman the obviously one loved to his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay You focused. need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Come on, come on. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Who is that guy? Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on <laughs> video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. Of course he's the villain. <laughs> la, la, <laughs> Hates video games. While he's a character inside a video game. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Uh... Okay. Hmm. I wonder what their uh, what their meta what what those methods are exactly. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. 
Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! Sending someone to the farm sounds like a threat. Wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to heart. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Hmm. I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed! Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was... What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hard go. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider <laughs> she's been using you boy and you let her you went and opened the door for her didn't you now now it was already open a crack and whose fault is that we're morally corrupt disease ridden old and stupid doesn't mean he had to open it all the way god damn it ah uh, um oh, for so tired Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. I completely lost my we uh, there, man. train of you, train you of uh, thought. So let me get this right. Um, I think that the Baba Yaga that they talk about, uh, it might be that woman that uh, the dark presence possessed. The lady uh, dressed in black. I think she might be the one they talk about. Also, they call me Tom. I mean, they call Alan Tom. Uh, like Thomas Zane. It, it, it does seem like it. And it does seem like... Because he was... I don't know. Was he also in this place? I feel like he was. And they do know him. Um, and they do think that Alan reminds him, and, I, and I think Alan reminds them of him. Or maybe they're just insane, I don't know. That 
Bob Barker through the app through the window hit that a hippie okay, chick that's not the way. in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Um, I had to listen to, the, to that whole dialogue that they had because it was kind of interesting, to be honest. I feel like what they say might actually be um, might actually be true. Hey, wake! Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. So this stuff still comes up. Um... I guess could be in his head, could be real, who knows. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated and there was no key. glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Here's a friendly talk from the old witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? I don't know if, if you guys can remember. There used to be this manuscript page that they found. Uh, back in the day and he did actually talk something about uh, about one of the old dudes killing someone with a hammer from what I can remember we might be able to see that soon uh, but for now we're gonna end the episode uh, it's been fun and I do like the um, the place the story is going uh, to uh, the, the uh, uh, let's just go <laughs> uh, see ya guys and see you in the next episode you, don't, you won't have to wait long bye